What's up? I'm Grizz. Welcome back. Heavenly Delusion episode four. Last week we had some experiments, human experiment stuff going on, switched brains and bodies and everything else that's going on. Weird stuff. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to also look at a faceless baby or attempt to at least this week. I don't really know. Uh, it's, it's getting weird. We're also about to be attacked by some weird fish monster thing. So that's cool as well. So I guess we'll just go from here and see what happens. If you like it all, hit the like and subscribe. Do mean a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion and leave any comments about this episode, the series in general, or maybe recommendations of other shows you want me to watch at some other point. Going though, episode four. A man eater. I keep forgetting they're called man eaters. I just keep thinking. It's <laughs> arms coming out of it like that. It's so gross. The fuck is that? I think so far this season, this is the best OP visually as well. And the song, I think, probably top two. This and Oshinoko make a pretty close run together. They're both so good, though. But the visuals are unreal on this one, so... <laughs> oh, flash to the... to heaven. Tomato heaven, we're here. We're going to look for the kid. It's interesting, too, like, they are wary that these things will watch them and that they can't go to certain areas and they're being held out of spots. Alright, sorry, we're not all frog women and we can't just... <laughs> We just don't got suction hands. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, because that's just there. <laughs> what? Uh, good luck, buddy. Our right, super. Oh. So does he not have abilities then? Like all of them? Huh. I didn't even think about that. They all have like special supernatural things, right? And he seems to not. So maybe he wasn't experimented on. But I guess he was because he's a clone of somebody, right? This is weird. I don't like this. Ugh. So why are they acting this way? <laughs> Alright, let's go up. They don't have cameras at the walls, though. They're gonna get caught. Didn't see them, or that was at a different time. Yeah, that's not old. <laughs> You're screwed. Yeah, no. Get some barricades up. Desert. Okay, dude. <laughs> Why would we do that? I guess we can learn what he does for real, then. That's a plan, though. That's how you killed the other thing. Better <laughs> hair go. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> no, are those tomatoes? Oh. Shit turned into a harpoon. <laughs> I don't want to fight the fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we're fighting it here. Go touch it, brother. What the fuck is that? Okay, yeah, so it sucks up the water and now we're gonna dry him out. And that was the plan. That's why I said desert earlier, because you could go to an area that would just dry them out. Ugh. How did you just know that, though? Whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> Why can he do that? Oh. That's the symbol that's on all of them. 
They're growing the man-eaters. Or is this what they actually do start out as? He's having some sort of moment with it. Relax, relax. Someone's gonna catch them. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna get out? Did he get out? No. She's not able to grab him? Oh, fuck. Was it not them? Is there someone else? So he was about to go in the room and then... Why are none of these cameras showing it? Oh, we're leaving Prince, brother. No. Don't look at it. You don't know it. It's not real. Oh, no. Are they using them, like parts of his DNA, to create something? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. This is our, our central intelligence agency. <laughs> this is the hub, basically. We killed you. We saved your life. Thank you. He's <laughs> like, boss, what? I hate this guy. I hate him. この<笑><笑> Destroy Mitsuba. Probably sets up us seeing them at some point again in the future. That'll find out. <laughs> Yo, Khan. Mitsuba, <laughs> My brother's down horrendous. Ooh. Uh, I can't. Yeah, Tell me about it. Look like a rabbit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to blow your back out. Well, okay, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, for what reason, though? Uh, do you mind that? No, no. <laughs> this place is so weird, bro. But he's losing his girl, too, and he backed out. He didn't even have the nerve to step in. Wow. This is the one we saw right at the beginning. Oh. I'm gonna have a difficult time making out what's happening in this place, dude. They're all experimenting. They're all growing up. And you're not. Mm -hmm. Don't you do it. 
粉がいいな I don't know which one that is. I'll be honest, I don't remember any names. I'll look after this. Oh, that's him. Oh. We're going every possible direction here. We found a footprint. So if this kid like reveals it's actually like very infectious and we You got something important to say, though. Let's hear it. Escape? Yeah. What do you know? What do you know? Firstly, before I begin the discussion here, I kind of just want to check out who... Because I know it's a voice actress just by the, the way it was sounding this episode, but it sounded familiar, so I was just curious if it's something I can pick up on exactly who it is not ringing a bell any literally anything wow okay uh okay i don't know why it sounded really familiar but i guess it's not interesting cool doesn't matter okay so we just have a lot of weird stuff going on uh, i don't really know how much i'm gonna be able to get into or talk about this because i really don't know but a few things i guess mainly that stand out to me the only thing that we really see from maru and kira's situation with where they are uh, is the fighting of the man-eater and be able to outsmart it and figure out ways to like absorb it and exactly what's going on to kind of kill it. Uh, and then, you know, the jokes about the naming sense and stuff. They were kind of the afterthought of this episode, so they really weren't that important. Uh, and then just figuring out, trying to find this land, not be able to get any real hints about the logo, but them basically trying just to arrive where they're going to to explore next. So that just sets them up probably for future what's going to go on right now it doesn't really matter though they were kind of the afterthought here the main thing to kind of focus on is what was exactly going on in this utopia tokyo and kuko go to see the babies or what she was saying uh the faceless ones that she was saying that she's seen uh we get to the location basically and we figure out it appears that these are man eaters that they are forming in this place now are these they are just developing them they're just growing them uh and creating the man eaters or are they specifically able to create these things and then they're fusing them with things to make them more human like and those are the types of people that we have inside right now which is why certain people have different characteristics such as cuckoo seeming more like frog like in a way uh just the way she her face, the way she talks, the way she can like suction on the things, the way that is. Uh, I even noticed with uh, Mime Hime, she looks more rabbit like to me. I don't know if that's just something I'm picking up on, but the way like her current kind of her eyes are, the way that her hair like on the ends kind of like frills up like in a way, she just kind of reminds me of one for some reason. I don't know if that has any significance at all, but that's something that appears to be going on. We have something with her sending pictures, but things aren't being memorized that she actually did it herself. So was somebody else the one that kind of did that and sent it over? Like what exactly is going on with certain situations here? Anyways, back to the the children man-eater thing. It leaves me to believe that we are going a route where the doctor in which we are looking for from Kira's past or earlier life, I guess, uh, the doctor that we're in the hunt for that did the operation is here is kind of what I'm guessing, because we know that doctor experimented with a whole bunch of stuff and it was dangerous and we need to stay away with it. So it would make a lot of sense that this doctor would be here and doing more experimentation here on these kids and on these man eaters and creating all these things. So that would make a lot of sense if that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, something that was very worth notice though, was when Cuckoo was trying to get Tokyo inside, we noticed that there was nothing appearing on the cameras. So this is two options in my mind. One, the cameras that we were being shown aren't the actual cameras or weren't being shown at the exact same time that they were actually in that location for whatever reason. And two, the other option, which is the ex one that I'm believing, the one that I'm going to work under the assumption of, is that Tokyo, who appears to not really have any special abilities, as all these others have like certain specific things that they're good at and they can do, he appears to have the ability where he can't be detected by these cameras for whatever reason. That appears to be his, where he's invisible to these things because they weren't able to see him on 
the multiple different instances that they showed us these cameras and showed him on them. And that would make a lot of sense to me, which is really, really cool. I don't know how, I guess we could use that effectively because he'd be able to escape, which is something that we explore later on in the episode where that kid tells him that he should probably escape because it's dangerous here. That makes a lot of sense. And this works really well because he'll pr probably be able to, if he's not spotted by the cameras and he won't be able to be detected. What exactly was being detected as well when the alert was sent out about an intruder? Was it the people, was it him? Because Tokyo can't be actually detected, it appears on these things. So it probably wasn't him. So was something else flared up? Did they detect Cuckoo? Did something else go on? I don't really know exactly what it was that detected them. That's also just worth noting as well. Him leaving a footprint as well as a bad thing, because now that's going to kind of leave us some clues if somebody's able to see that at some point. And that's going to be relevant later for sure, whether it's next episode or 10 episodes down the line. That's something that will be relevant at some point because you don't make that such an apparent point. Uh, and that could lead to very bad things, them tracking him down or them kind of just doing checks. Not how you're going to track him down to that exact person. It's probably not as likely for them to be able to do it, but they'll probably be suspecting people who... I guess whoever, I'm assuming they all have the same shoes and stuff too. That's why it makes it kind of weird. So I don't actually know how they're going to track that down, but I am interested to see. And then the main portion of what really starts going down here is these children kind of experimenting, developing feelings, things with sexuality, stuff like that, and kind of going on. Or we're noticing abnormal behavior, ones being kind of hyper and energetic and having all this other stuff going on and just kind of showing off for other people. We have the thing with the the pictures with Mimihime and all that other stuff. We have the the thing with the two girls who are constantly making out. We have the the sick guy who seemed to try and make a move on Tokyo and he kind of did not seem to be interested or tried to push away from that. But then he goes and he talks to Kona about this and, you know, kind of expresses his, his discomfort with that situation, but then openly expresses his interest in somebody like Kona. So it's a weird dynamics that we have going on here. I think it might just be natural progression in understanding and developing yourself and understanding who you are and the things that you like and just normal things as them growing up. So I think this makes perfect sense. Like it could just be very very simple and it might not be something to really look into but there is definitely more abnormal things i guess you would say than the the typical things that you would expect so whether like i said that is just them experimenting or we have something that's happening where maybe the doctor when they work on these kids can kind of experiment in a way that kind of turns and alters who they are and the things that they're interested in and stuff like that i don't know if that's something that can also happen uh, that's probably just too, too far-fetched but it's always possible with everything else that's going on here ultimately though tokyo needs to get out of here figure out exactly how he doesn't even probably realize that he is being hidden with on in these cameras and stuff so that he could possibly make an escape and just has to kind of figure that out uh, but it, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> nuts to me. Uh, we also still have the issue with the identity thing where he's a clone basically of somebody and how exactly that came about. And when this doctor, I'm assuming it's the same guy, would have came in contact with Maru and was able to clone him unless Tokyo is the original and Maru was made separate somehow. I don't think that's the case, but uh, like I said, nothing, nothing, nothing's ever off the table with this, it seems like. So I don't really know the direction that we're going to head there. But this, this doesn't give me a lot, in my opinion, to kind of break down and understand exactly what's going on and we're kind of setting up more because as of last episode like i said we kind of answered a bunch of our things and kind of set the uh, slate clean and started over again while we still have multiple things ongoing like the bigger picture ideas a lot of the the smaller things that we had questions to kind of got answered so now we have to set up some more while continuing to develop this world and the multiple stories that we have to follow that are ultimately going to probably meet at some sort of point so we have to figure out exactly when that's going to come down and what exactly is going on in each of these situations so right now we're still just building up and trying to understand a bit more and that's kind of where i'm at or i don't understand enough yet or i think i feel like i need to understand a bit more or at least kind of just have some discussions and that's where hopefully you guys come in and kind of can leave your own opinions and thoughts and stuff down below and kind of expand maybe what I'm thinking or change my mindset on some things and understand a bit more before we get into next week, hopefully. But that's kind of where I'm at. And I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot though. And hopefully we continue a bit more, but I just need some more content, I think, to kind of understand where we're headed and exactly what each of these things mean while just keeping certain things such as the the man eaters, the experimentations, whatever the thing with the intruder was, the footprints, the uh, kind of identity things in the the development of these children and exactly what they have going on and what each of their supernatural things might be going on within them and just kind of keep all that in the back of the mind as you push forward and understand a bit more but enjoyed it a lot so hopefully we get a bit more answers next week or hopefully we can kind of develop some more on the grand thing and i just don't know i'm assuming we move back to 
Kiru and Maru either next week or the week after, like maybe primarily again. But I think right now, probably next week, we're probably still going to stay over here. I think them telling Tokyo to kind of run away makes a lot of sense where we're going to kind of end this story for the current time being, where we might get a flash one or two next time. But it'll probably be another episode or two before we get heavy focus over here again. It's all for me, though. If you like it all, hit the like and subscribe. It mean a lot to me. Feel free to follow my Twitter, my anime list. Both links are in the description. Check out the other videos on the channel. Leave any comments about this episode, the series in general or any recommendations for other series you might want to see me watch at some other point in the future i'll be back for episode five next week you have a good one see ya